Welcome! In this video, I'll show you how to create your user profile for accessing the Public Safety Report System, set up multi-factor authentication on your mobile phone, and how to sign into the system going forward. First, an administrator creates a user account for you using your name and email address. Once they've created your account, they will notify you that it's now time to complete your profile, choose a password, and set up multi-factor authentication using your mobile phone. Once you receive that notification, it's time to complete the following steps. Before you begin, review the rest of this video to get familiar with the steps, and make sure you set aside enough time to complete all of the steps in one sitting. If you start this process and step away before finishing it, your account may lock out and the Automon support team will need to reset it. For this process, you'll need a desktop or laptop computer with internet access and your mobile phone. Now let's get started. On your computer, open a web browser and enter the URL for the Public Safety Report System as shown here. When you get to the website, enter in your email address as prompted. This needs to be the same email address that your administrator listed in your user account. Then click Next. The system lets you know that it sent a verification email to the address that you entered. Now you can check your email, open the message, and click the Confirm Email link. A new web page opens and now you can complete your profile. Enter or update your first name, last name, and your time zone. Choose a password that meets the listed requirements. Then click Save. Now you're prompted to set up multi-factor authentication by downloading an authenticator app to your mobile phone. Don't leave this screen, keep it ready because you'll need to scan this QR code with the authenticator app. Now, we recommend you use only the Microsoft Authenticator app or the Google Authenticator app. If you try to use a different app, it may prompt you to enter credit card info or start a subscription, and there's no need to do that. The Microsoft and Google Authenticator apps do not ask you for payment info, so please use one of those. They're available for both iPhone and Android. In this tutorial, I'm using an iPhone, and I feel like using the Google Authenticator app, so I go to the App Store, search for the app, and then download it. For Android users, you can download the app from the Google Play Store. Once the app is downloaded, open it, tap Get Started, and select the option to scan a QR code. If needed, give the app permission to access your phone's camera. Now here's the fun part. Point your phone at your computer screen and let the camera automatically scan that QR code. It's real quick. It presents you with a unique six-digit verification code. It's not gonna be the same one shown here. Go back to your computer screen and manually type in the code shown in your Authenticator app. Then click Verify. You'll now see this page indicating no products are found, but don't worry, there's no problem. Go up to the top left, click on the menu icon, and select Tames. We're almost there. You'll now see the System Use Notification screen where you must agree to the terms and conditions of using the system. Click I Accept, and congratulations, you're now in the Public Safety Report system. Your profile is complete and you're ready to go. But before we go any further, I want to call out that you need to keep that Authenticator app that you downloaded to your phone. Do not uninstall it. For security, the Public Safety Report system requires you to use multi-factor authentication every time you sign in. So you and that Authenticator app are now best buddies. Now that your profile is complete, let me show you how you'll sign into the Public Safety Report system for your daily workflow. The process is a little different, but much simpler. To sign in, first open a browser on your computer and enter the URL for the Public Safety Report System as shown here. Enter your email address and click Next. Then enter your password and click Next. You're now prompted to enter the verification code displayed in your Authenticator app. Grab your phone and open up the Authenticator app. You will not receive a push notification, so you need to manually open the app. Notice how as soon as you open it, it displays a unique six-digit code. Type this code into the web page on your computer. For security, the code shown on your phone has a little countdown timer that shows you how much longer that code is valid before it changes to a different code. So make sure you have enough time to type in that code before it changes on you. Notice that we did not have to scan a QR code this time. You only had to do that when you're setting up multi-factor authentication for the first time. You now see that same system use notification screen you saw earlier, and you need to click I accept to access the system. And you're in.
Thanks for watching.